All right, well, let's take a look at yet another variation of Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu 13.10, the uh, GNOME remix. Uh, some of you, actually probably a lot of you, didn't like the transformation from GNOME 2, which you see here, to GNOME 3 or the GNOME shell desktop. The first time I looked at it, I thought it looked pretty cool, but it's not my favorite. Uh, to me, GNOME 3 is still a work. Uh, the default GNOME shell is still a work in progress. I prefer Unity or GNOME 2. But let's take a look at this. Now, now what I did here, let me go ahead and full screen this. What I did here, I uh, used a default uh, screen recorder uh, for the GNOME, uh, for the Ubuntu 13.10 GNOME Remix. I believe um, you hold Control, Alt, Shift and R. No sound though, so I'm talking over this. All right, so what I did here, I, I just hit right click and a user friendly function I may add to change your background or go to settings. Now there are multiple ways to go into the settings menu, which I found very user friendly. User session, the, the original GNOME uh, 3 didn't have a power off. You had to hold a button down to get to power off, which was silly. All right, the sound menu. One thing I noticed, another thing I noticed about this, it ran very, very smooth. Uh, this does require a gig of RAM. All right, time and date. You do have the choice of 24 hour or AM, PM. There is a way to turn on the date function. I believe that is in, that is in the, tw uh, the uh, tweak tool. All right, the hot corner to the left as you see there, or you can just uh, click Activities button. There are shortcuts to the left, as you saw there. There we go. The one nice feature about the hot, co hot corner is to multitask with multiple windows, as you see here. This was the install, a uh, welcome to the install, which I chose not to install. I just ran this off a USB stick. Workspace is to the right. You can go up and down or add windows to the workspaces and change them as you see here. Of course, Firefox is installed by default. By the way, this will not play audio and video by default. You need to install the um, multimedia codex. There is a search bar at the top. Pretty straightforward here. I like the bright white color theme, uh, at least for me I, th I thought it was quite pleasing. The tweak tool is very helpful to tweak your system. Self-explanatory here, desktop files, fonts. The one thing that this should have had was uh, instructions or a shortcut or a tip on how to install themes. There is nothing here. So if you are a beginner, uh, you would have no clue and it would not be your fault. But otherwise, the tweak tool can be very helpful. And there was a choice of only two themes here, so not much. Okay, rhythm box by default. Very good music player. Back to the hot corner. As far as the installed apps, I would have preferred um, one of two ways or two categories. Either um, have the applications come up in alphabetical order which they do, and or by category, uh, such, such as what you would see uh, in Ubuntu Unity. So this part looks good, but I cannot say this is quite user friendly. But no crashes. It has the software to get you started. Maybe not enough, but that can be certainly downloaded. But overall, this ran quite smooth. I was very impressed. 
and I actually have the uh, GNOME Shell desktop environment installed when I feel like switching between Ubuntu Unity, um, KDE, or GNOME 3. Okay, LibreOffice, LibreWriter, installed by default. Once again, switching between the workspaces. This part can be useful. Bring up multiple workspaces. Again, I'm not noticing any glitches. Quite smooth. I was very impressed. And, and as you can see, moving the windows back and forth, no glitches. If I had to pick uh, something for a beginner between this and Unity, uh, Ubuntu Unity, probably Unity I think might be more user friendly, more intuitive. Uh, this would not be difficult to learn. Here you have the file manager and settings. Uh, this would not be difficult to learn, but I personally stuck with Unity. So I will recommend that you try Unity and this but probably keep unity if you are a beginner to Linux well that's it this was my quick look at Ubuntu 1310 remixed GNOME version quite smooth quite stable in the brief time that I tested it uh, I use this type of desktop environment as I stated uh, somewhat infrequently just just to boot into something different uh, is this better than Ubuntu Unity? Uh, I don't know. This is still a work in progress. There still needs to be some tweaking to make this more uh, user friendly. As I stated, a nice little tip shortcut on how to download and install themes would have been quite helpful. Besides that, let me know what you guys think about this. Very smooth. Keep in mind that if you have an older computer, uh, with not enough RAM, this probably will not work. Uh, I was running this, I believe, with about 4 gigs of RAM, and it pretty much zipped by. All right, well, that's it for this. Thank you for watching and listening, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.